Bad wolf. You know who's a big bad wolf? He huffs and puffs like and blows recording. the house down. Yeah. 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 When you speak, be the big bad wolf, all right? Because then you have the person's attention. I promise you. I speak from experience. Okay. And take off your mask. You're too beautiful to wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody ask me a question. Don't be shy. Any questions? You're all university students. It means you're very, very educated. You're very smart, much smarter than me. I'm silly. I went to university in America. I went to NYU and I came back to work in Hong Kong. I should have stayed there. But then if I stayed there, I wouldn't have met her. Uh, <laughs> they're so shy, oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, I'm um, brainstorming a question. Yeah, go for it. Not, not yet, not, the, the question hasn't solved. <laughs> so what do you guys all study? Uh, all different things? Yes. I'm studying nursing. Okay. I'm going to give you all some more advice, okay? <clears throat> Hong Kong has just come through its darkest hour. All right. We need young people like yourselves to be brave, all right, and to be loud, all right, and to smile and not hide your faces with masks. So don't, don't be shy. Hong Kong doesn't need shy right now, okay? They need people like me right now, but with your brains. So now you ask me a great question. Uh, so, do you like your job? Uh, I actually love my job. The favorite part of my job is I get to meet women in my shop every single day. <laughs> if I get to meet girls, oh my goodness, how many girls? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Are you a girl? Okay, so I get to meet 12 girls. Of course I love my job. I mean, what a brilliant job. And that was such a great question. Okay, now that I've teased you, you get to ask me a question. Uh, did, did you make your own suit? Did I make my own suit? Does it look like I made my own suit? I very much made my own suit. Let me tell you about my suit. Are you on? Sorry? You're on tailor -tail made? Yes, it's tailor made by me. So it's a single button, okay, with a narrow peak lapel, a deep press stitch, barquetta breast pocket with a curve and kick. Even with a curve and kick, see how my stripes line up perfectly. I've got a kissing ticket pocket, undersized pocket flaps, uh, fully lined pockets, deep press stitch on the pockets, an extreme cutaway, a dinner button on the inside, of my jacket, I have gauntlet cuffs. You won't see this off the wrap. You won't see this in any Hong Kong brand. Uh, it is definitely fully tailor made by me. Look, I've got this incredible Ooh. Mondrian line on the inside, and it's half lining for hot, hot, hot Hong Kong. Wow. Okay. And I'm lining on the back, and yeah, I don't uh -huh. wear belt loops. I have buckles on the side to hold my pants out. How much is the cost of one set the For you, very cheap. I will give you a very big discount. And you must never thank me, okay? You must only thank her, all right? <laughs> Do I need to take you on a date? Uh, well, uh, you hopefully married? one day soon. No, you're single? Okay, yeah. This is brilliant. Oh, yeah. It's actually fantastic. So very reasonable. So don't worry about the price. When you're ready to buy a suit, I promise you, that will be cheaper than anywhere else, okay? Great question. Ask me a question. So we do have a question from the lady over there. Oh, great. Come here. Come to the center. <laughs> yes, come here, come here, come here, come here. It, how how it, do you plan your business to go She's on? asking me or you're asking me? Uh, just a little translation. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 Don't be shy. I have, to, I have to tell you one thing. I have no idea what you just said to me. So now you translate. So this is a heritage. Yes. How do you plan to, to, to keep the heritage going on? Okay, Your very, very easy. Okay, so first of all, let's touch on heritage. My heritage is very important. Okay, it is why I'm here. It is why I came back. When I was a little boy, so say 10 years old, 9 years old, 8 years old, 7 years old, right? I'd be in my shop and and I would look up, it would be this shop, and I would look up, and there would be so many people, so many, so many, so many, so many customers coming from all over the world to buy clothes for my father. And a lot of those people, especially at that time, the 1980s, were very famous people. Celebrities in the old days were not like celebrities now. Nowadays, you cannot come near a celebrity. You get 10 million followers on Insta, you have to pay them millions of US dollars to get anywhere near that. In the old days, we had no social media, we had no nothing. Celebrities would come here, they'd buy clothes, it'd be easy, it'd be amazing. I'd walk in here, they'd be movie stars and TV stars and singers. 
every other day and sports starts every other day so monday i would meet somebody wednesday i would meet somebody friday i would meet somebody the next week tuesday thursday saturday i'm not even making this up it was incredible i said to myself how could i not join this business how could i not join this business my father met everyone you know, in 1988 he met kali minogue 1980 is before any of you were born i didn't know who kali was all right i think it was 88 or 89 do you know who kali is very 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 famous australian singer and i could tell you so many of these stories and we had in those days we had no phones we'd get a photo and you'd print out a three hour size photo. So I didn't know who this girl Kali was. And I was so shy, but even at age 11 or 12, I was taller than her, okay? So she put her arm around me like this, and I was so shy, okay? So I had this photo that my dad printed out for me, and I took it to school. I was in form one at that time. I took it to school uh, on the Monday, and all the girls in school, see how I like girls? I really like girls. All the girls in school, went crazy like oh my god you met Kylie wow 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 I didn't know who this woman was okay and I was so shy you could see even from the photo in, in the photo and I had so many of these adventures growing up meeting just superstars like tennis players soccer players movie stars singers you name it politicians as well that I said to myself how could I not join this business heritage and family has meant so much to me for so 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 long and that's the reason I joined my business joined my business and that's what keeps me going every day. I feel amazing that I am part of something so big and special. Now, when I joined this business, it was the year 2000, we had been in operation for 1957 to 43 years, okay, 43 years. So 43 years back then was a very long time. 43 years is older than all of you, was older than me, of course. I took this business to 50 years. I got to 50 years, and I thought that was a big deal. I took this business to 60 years. Now I'm at 66 years, all right? It is incredible. So I am definitely part of something huge. I'm definitely the part, uh, a part of the fabric of this business. You cannot just take the last 24 years away from me, you know what I'm saying? I am definitely infused in the history, in the legacy, in the heritage of Samsung. And that means so much. That means I fulfilled what I wanted to fulfill as a child. Okay, but I actually made it. I made it all the way here through hard work. I am living proof of child labor in China. Here is me, age 12 years old, 1989, shirt and tie, working in the shop, all right? I worked here every Christmas holiday, every Easter holiday, every summer holiday, whilst I was in school. It is, it is huge to me that I'm here today. I feel so accomplished. I feel accomplished that I gave my father so much of my life that I have added on to the wonderful Sam's Taylor history, that we are still alive and thriving in Hong Kong, and I have something to give to my children now, and to a lucky girl who might want to marry me. You know what I mean? So I, met I think they're getting your... tired of my girl jokes. Yes. <laughs> Not yet, I guess. You're still, you're still I'm have still some there? space. I'm still there? Okay. So I met two of your beautiful kids. Okay. How are they thinking right now? About so I have three children. Yeah. They are 14, 12, and 11, they are too young to think anything. When my 14 year old was seven, she would say, Papa, 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 I'm gonna come and work for you. I wanna be a designer, okay? Now she's 14, she wants to be a lawyer. She wants to go to Stanford or Princeton or Yale. I have no idea where she wants to go. They're big dreams for little people, okay? My 12 year old, she doesn't speak at all, okay? I mean, she's just shy. So she's never gonna tell me what she's up to. My 11 year old son, he's like me when I was 11 years old just like this he wants to do all of this but just like my father my father never ever 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 pushed me to join this business okay when i was a kid he made me come and work because he didn't want me to be naughty he didn't want me to bully my sisters trouble my mom break stuff in the house and stuff <clears throat> but when i went to high school i mean when i went to university he never asked me to come back he said go and work outside work outside work outside don't join this business very tough business we work monday to sunday no, I never joined my business immediately. I worked at a law firm when I first graduated university here in Hong Kong, a big British law firm. The Bars Banker, please. Then I moved to London and I worked there for about 12 or 13 months for two different companies, a, a personal concierge company and then an online auction site. And then I joined my father. But at no point did I say to myself that I did not want to join my father or should I do something else or whatever. I felt that I had ticked all the boxes. I went to university, I worked at three different companies, 
both locally and internationally. They were all multinationals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So when I joined, it was time. My son, his dream is to come and work here at Sanfield. His dream is also to play cricket for Hong Kong <laughs> or India. Do you know what cricket is? Cricket is a very famous sport, played by, played by 1.4 billion people. There's 1.4 billion people in India, like not just China. Sports, <laughs> but, you know, do they want to join my business? It's irrelevant because they're so young. We don't know, I don't know, if they'll change their mind. They are so young. Will I ever force them? Never, never ever. It's not in my genetic makeup to force anybody to do anything. My job is to just work hard, be a leader, be an inspiration to my children, to be a great role model, be a leader to my team, to my staff, be a, be, be, be a leader, be an inspiration, to be a role model to them as well. I'm the same way with my clients. So many of my clients love me. Uh, I post a lot on social media. I have a massive presence. I'm very, very transparent. All of my clients, the whole world, in fact, can see my entire life. I'm on every platform and I'm very transparent. So you'll see my workouts, my time with my kids, if I ever go out partying, and all the work that I do with my clients. Uh, and, you know, that gives me a lot of satisfaction and satisfaction in the sense that, you know, I want to, I want to be a good son. And I think I'm a good son to my father. I don't think, the only way to be a better son is to just say, yes, dad, yes, dad, yes, dad, yes, dad, yes, dad, you know what I mean? Yes, dad, which is something I cannot do. You know what I mean, I'm a human being, right? I have my own personality, my own traits. In order for me to be happy, I need to do what I want to do. And that's my advice to you guys, right? I know it sounds very cliche to do what you want to do, but there's a way of having fun, enjoying what you do, but, but being responsible at the same time. So what I've always been is I've been very responsible. When I say very responsible, that doesn't mean that, oh, I never drank, I never went to a party, none of that stuff, right? What I mean is that I come to work every day. I work hard every day. I work every day, okay? And stuff, but I still be me, okay? I, I make clothes the way I want to make clothes, not the way my father wants me to make clothes, okay? I talk to people the way I want to talk to people, not the way my father wants to talk to people, okay? And I don't do that to be against my father. In fact, I'm here today because I want to be there for my father. But it's everything in life is a balance. Again, it sounds very cliche. What makes me successful is I found the right balance. Found the right balance between virtually everything. I work extremely hard. Don't take my word for it. Ask her, she'll tell you that's the truth. I'm committed to my father. I may not be the best son in the world, but each and every one of my staff members will tell you, this guy, no matter how much he fights with his dad, he still comes to work every single day before his dad. He's there every day. I spend a lot of time with my kids, even though I work 6.5 days a week. I work every single day, half day Sunday. I still find a lot of time with my children. And if I take my clothes off, <laughs> you will see, even though I'm so skinny under the suit, that I take very good care of my body, okay? And you can see me on Instagram, no problem at all. You can see that I work out as well, I eat well, I work out, I haven't had a drink in 12 years. I help the Hong Kong government as often as they will let me, okay? I am a justice of peace, Ni Ming Ba, I met Tai Ping San Sina, Ni Ming Ba. So Carrie Lam made me a justice of peace in 2019. Uh, I am an ambassador for the Hong Kong Tourism Board. I serve on a panel for the Home Affairs Department. I ha am a co-chairman of my own committee on the community chest, it's Hong Kong's oldest charity. Uh, it's 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 right up there in in terms of legacy with the Jockey Club. Um, and you know, I previously served with the Transport Department for six years. I've worked with the Security Bureau. I've done what I can for Hong Kong, and I want to do more. It's not that I don't want to do more. It's they need to let me do. It. So I feel I'm a very good boy. Okay, I'm a great son to my father, but I'm also a great son of Hong Kong. All right, I am a very traditional person. I have a very romantic upbringing, lots of chivalry. I love women, you know what I mean? I want to be a man, I want to be a man's man. That doesn't mean I'm a misogynist. That doesn't be, mean I'm an anti-feminist. It just means that I hold women in very high regard, more than me. So I like to think of myself as a musketeer, something very old school, very romantic, doing the right things all the time, and as often as I can, but still having fun whilst doing it. Come on in, look at what we have here. We have the main people of Sam Sailor. These are the three people that run Sam Sailor actually. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Are Please you introduce, sorry? Are you also a comedy, com, 
Comment, com, comment, uh, stand up comedy. No, I'm a communist. Com That's the word you're looking for. I am a communist, okay? I love China and I'm a communist, okay? Now, can you come here? Today is a very special day, okay? I will tell you why today is such a special day. You want to know why today is a special day? They hang on Hong Kong messy now. 14 years ago, exactly. 14 years ago, this day, my life changed in every way. 14 years ago, okay, on this day, my life changed for the better in every way because my, because this, this person, this terrorist, she's a terrorist. Do you know what a terrorist is? This girl is a terrorist. This terrorist was born, okay? And, 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 I'm gonna come back to the story in a second. <laughs> this is what my father does for me, okay? But he doesn't do it for me the way I do it for my children, okay? My father gave me a platform, okay? To build my own cell phone, okay? I could be me, you say I'm a comedian? Of course I'm a comedian. I'm yeah. the best comedian there is. I should have my own show on Netflix, <laughs> all right? My father gave me a platform to be the man I am today. I'm not the man that he wants me to be, but I'm the man that I want to be. But I couldn't be that man without my father's platform. I, today, give my children the very same platform, okay? I'm just a bit more involved in their life than he was in mine. But I'm not knocking my dad. My dad was very busy working hard so I could have the best life. So 14 years ago, this girl was born today. So can we sing her happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Serena. Happy birthday to you. Now, when Serena was a little girl, she was such a good girl. Oh my goodness, she was such a good girl. All right, and she loved her papa so much. She wanted to do everything. Ask me whether you want to work for me. She wanted to work for me. She wanted to do everything for me. Now she has changed. She's a very bad girl. She doesn't listen to her dad. She tells her dad how horrible he is. She, she, what did she say? She, ne, ne, hai. I don't even know what she said. She said, I'm a worker. I'm no use. I work in a shop. I'm a shopkeeper. You know what I mean? I'm not a professional. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a banker. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? uh, and stuff. So, so, so the, the thing is that my biggest struggle is, 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 Gosh, not my business, because I feel I have control of my business, right? My biggest struggle is, oh my goodness, this is a human being, put your phone away. And I cannot control this human being, but you're not meant to control human beings. And the difference between me and my father is, he resents the fact, he resented the fact that he cannot control me. Do you understand what I'm saying, right? And he's pissed off at me all the time that, I can't, that he can't control me. What I realize is that as a father, when you give birth to a human being, all right? That doesn't mean you are given the right to control them, okay? You, God has blessed you with a perfect child. Now what you give back to God, what you give back to the universe, what you give back to the earth, is you just take care of the child. And you let that child grow into the person they want to be. So will, do they want to join my business? I don't know. They're still very young. They're here, you can ask them now, okay? <laughs> will I force them? No. Will they be welcome? Yes. Will I beat them if they don't work hard? Very hard I will beat them. They have to work hard. Now then this is number two. And she used, she used to be my favorite. She used to be my favorite, okay? She loved her papa so much, so much, so much. She'd be with papa all the time. But seeing like this girl, they went to this horrible school, KG5. No, I'm just kidding. I went to KG5 as well, right? But as soon as these girls got into KG5, they forgot about, oh, forgot about their papa. Now they only care about their phones. You see what I mean? But this boy, <laughs> oh, he is my prince. He is my prince of prince of princes. He loves his papa so much. You love your papa? How much? Thousand or a million? Over that. That's what he always says. I always say, do you love your papa? He says, yes. I say, how much? He says, a lot. I said, thousand or a million? He says, over that. He wants to work here. You want to work at Sam Sailor? You sure? You're going to work hard? They're very young. But today I'm so happy to meet all of you guys. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Uh, I know we didn't talk much about my business, but we talked a lot about me. Uh, I'm available to you guys anytime you want to ask me anything, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you guys. Well, it's, uh, it's very easy.
easy to remember the name Sam Sailor. Yes. And uh, they are reachable on Instagram, or you just come by the shop because you already know the place now. At Sam Sailor. Right. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Was that okay for you? Oh, yeah, go. You're great, happy? Great. Yes. You're I'm gonna happy. come back again? I'm walking on the boat now. Come you on. sure? Yeah. Well, technically, I, normally I would also ask a, a few technical questions. Like, uh, I have a chance to see them in action, which was very amazing. Uh, some of my customers, they might have some issue or like, oh, how to choose the fabric? And they would just like, this is good for you. How did you do that? I'm a superstar. What if they complain? They will not complain. <laughs> The reason they won't complain is before I, I don't dictate to people, right? I, I I create, and what I do is anybody walks into my shop, I ask them a series of questions through conversation. Okay, I'm very good at what I do. I'm very good at what I do because I've been here for 24 years on the job. I gain insight to them very swiftly through conversation. Okay, and then I decipher in my mind, like Sherlock Holmes. Okay, what is going to be best for them, and I'm never wrong. But the ultimately, whatever they choose, every decision is their decision. Right. I just make it easy for them to decide. When you all come to buy a suit one day, you will love working with them. I promise you. I will make you the best suit, but you will have so much fun. I promise you. One of the things my clients will all tell you is that we had so much fun doing this with Roshan. You will have a ball working with them. Okay? Yeah. I have fun just watching as well. well Thank you course. so much. Great. God right. bless you guys. Yes, you. I am a comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Saya. Enjoy, Kina. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good birthday present. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. See you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.